Good morning and thanks so much for joining us on Midday. I'm Natalie Sprasio. An early morning fire at a trucking company just outside of Sherman destroys a family business. Garrett Berger is live on the scene with the very latest. Garrett, what can you tell us? I'm standing at a 70 yard swath of black, the site of Donnelly Trucking, where a fire in the wee hours of this morning ripped through several buildings, destroying equipment, trucks, and buildings alike. As you can see, there are about six burned out semi trucks in here, along with a van and a pickup, and the building, of course, destroyed along with it. You can see some culverts that were supposed to be destroyed this morning. Or delivered this morning. They're also in the fire. Not sure if those are destroyed yet, but at this point, obviously a very destructive fire. Luckily, not a deadly one or no one injured at this point. One of the workers was able to get a semi truck out, but unfortunately spread a little too quick. We're going to show you the video here so you can see just how hot this fire was burning. Flames jumping. It's <laughs> the ashes on this fire. They're still hot. We've still got some smoke drifting off as we go. A lot of motor fuel, a lot of diesel, all mixing in, adding for contamination problems. And so right here we've got with us one of the fire inspectors on the scene. That's Louis Rogers. He's also the Riverton fire chief. He's going to tell us a little bit about how the fire spread. So you guys have found a point of origin, you said. Yeah, we believe we found an area of origin in the center. The first arriving units and the first arriving police officers, mm -hmm. as well as the employee who called 911, uh, gave us an area where he identified the fire to be. So it's, it started and spread out. And yeah. have you the identified winds, a safety The winds were blowing source? pretty good. Uh, we're looking mm -hmm. at all the potential causes, whether it's weather related, electrical, mechanical. Mm -hmm. uh, we're still looking at that. It's under investing current. And obviously, and you weren't able to use the arson dock because of all the, all the fuel. Yeah, it's hard to get a dog in here when the ground is saturated with fuels. Mm -hmm. And so there's no telling at this point exactly what what the cause of this fire is. Thank you very much for joining us, Mr. Rogers. And as Thanks. you said, devastating fire here. The owner says he's estimating the cost in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, and it could very well cost the people their jobs. This was a third of his fleet. We're going to have some more details for you on our evening shows. But right now, live in it, live in Sherman, Garrett Berger, ABC News Channel 20.